everyone, we have Beatrix with us today and it's quite warm out. Beatrix is ready for a haircut for sure. She has some matting behind her neck here. This is pretty common. She did not get a 45 day trim. And so Beatrix, I really like, she's a Vienna Mark Doe. I really like how she has just barely anything for her furnishings. She's a bit energetic right now. So if she's too energetic, I'm not gonna, I'll try a little bit and then I'm not gonna shear her if she's just too energetic. So she has, she is a Vienna marked doe. She does have uh, Harlequin markings as well. She had babies, babies crawling around on her wool. What you'll notice is you'll see strange bits of kind of a little bit less wool. You'll see a bit more matting on her back. Her babies have crawled all over her. And when she has a lot of wool, that can make it, uh, that can make it a bit matted. But that's part of, as you know, having a doe that has, that has babies. She does have one baby with her in the pen with her. And that is a baby that is scheduled for transport, not until um, a couple months later. So those two, they can stay together for quite a while longer. So we have a big mat behind her ear. So we're gonna take a look at this mat. And this mat has quite a bit of, it's, it's been matted for quite a while. It was getting close to the skin. Um, if we would have let this one go, I'm, I'm a bit suspicious that it would have just continued to grow if we wouldn't have trimmed this off and given her a trim, which is what we're gonna do now. So one mat off. This one is quite far away from her skin. Sometimes I have to use my fingers and feel where the, the skin is before trimming, because I don't want to trim her skin. This has hay in it, and that's pretty common. When I see, um, when I see the, <laughs> she's digging. When I see the mats on her or her babies, um, it's no surprise if there's hay behind, or I'm sorry, mats behind the ears in this behind that neck section, because there's a lot of friction that happens back there. A lot of thin wool, very fine, fine wool behind the, the ears in the neck section. I really love her ears. They're just very good ears. She has a great head. Um, in this most recent litter of rabbits, they are, she is the mom of the most recent litter of rabbits and she did just a great job. She had seven, all seven, all seven babies stayed alive. There was not a single uh, stillborn, not a single kit that didn't make it, that no failures to thrive. She was a funny one. She kept building her nest and building her nest and building her nest um, for a long time previous to before she actually had the kits. So it's, it's pretty warm outside as well. Uh, Beatrix is an interesting one, an interesting rabbit. Bianca's the opposite of Beatrix. Bianca loves being inside. She doesn't mind being inside whatsoever. She does not like being by herself, if I put her by herself away from humans in an outdoor, outdoor pen. She'll tolerate the exercise pen, but Bianca's preference is to be in the house. <laughs> and her preference is to, to be by humans and to know what's going on. She, <laughs> Bianca doesn't necessarily want to be held, but she just wants to know what's going on. What are you doing? Beatrix. Beatrix. Beatrix here. She'll tolerate being in the house, but that's not her favorite spot to be. 
She loves, um, she really just likes being quiet outside. The house can have a lot of noise. A house can have a lot of activity. Beatrix, that's not her preference. And each rabbit has their own personality, their own style, what they like. And Bianca, <laughs> Bianca wants to be in the mix of everything. Beatrix does not. She does not want to be in the mix of everything. She wants quiet. She's a rabbit that she just seems to like, um, like when things are calm, not a lot of noise, just things that are, just let it be outside. Don't really bother her too much. She doesn't necessarily, she's not a rabbit that really cares too much for like plasticky type toys, but she loves her sticks and her apple sticks. And so she's, <laughs> she's like a natural, very natural rabbit. Some rabbits, they'll play with the plastic toys and they love them. Beatrix, Beatrix here, I don't know. It's just not her thing. It's just not who she is as a rabbit. She has beautiful marbled eyes. She's just a great rabbit. So I just feel um, what's very nice about, very nice about Beatrix, she doesn't have underneath the sides of her chin and her neck. Sorry, she doesn't like that. Um, but when I feel there's not she doesn't have matting underneath there. This isn't, this isn't matted up underneath. So she has the matting behind here, and then she has that raggedy, like this is pretty raggedy looking. Just, you can see hay in there because her babies were crawling up on her back. But then the sides have maintained, the sides of her wool have, have really just maintained. And she has, I love her coat. She's, she's really, she's really a good rabbit. Absolutely amazing. What do you think? We got that done? We got the sides done? So that's it. That's trimming her up and that gives you a good look at her. That gives you a good look at her ears. It gives you a good look at um, how she's doing. It gives you a good look at the amount of furnishings. And when you think about uh, my breeding program, she was one I kept because of just really, oh, I loved so many things about her. I loved her markings, I loved her head, I loved her ears, I loved, I loved her just natural personality, just really a rabbit, sort of rabbit personality, but she is great, great mom, just produces amazing wool. And she's, she loves this, she just, she, she can sit here and spend time being pet and that's just what she likes to do. So that's just a little update on Beatrix and giving her a little trim. So thanks for watching.